In the NFL, speed is essential, both on the field and also on the sidelines. Being able to quickly spot weaknesses in the opponent's game plan can be vital to a team's success. Opening drive of the day. Roethlisberger, quick hitter, catch underneath. Deontay Johnson, first down. I mean, he's smart enough that he knows he's back in his throat. One move, he's on the side, and he's cut on him. Just run fast, and he's going to have to have to have to have to Play in zone on this one. Shotgun. Roethlisberger. Toss it underneath. Oh, nice curl for the touchdown. Does this play remind you of anything earlier in the ballgame? Remember Deontay Johnson on the slant, then gets to the outside after the catch? This time, he winds up in the end zone. In recent years, the Microsoft Surface device has helped players and coaches take in-game strategizing to another level. It's really unbelievable uh, just to be able to come off the sideline and, and already know that the entire drive has already been categorized. We get an accurate representation of what they're playing, the coverages, the fronts, all the things that they're doing, and we're ready and we're already looking at them. You did exactly what we were trying to do on that, you know what I'm saying? It's exactly what we're trying to do, so we can come back to that too. Device is such uh, an important tool in allowing us to do our jobs the best that we can. It's flawless. Microsoft Surface sideline viewing system. The device splits up into pictures uh, based on each play. So you're able to see each play as it happens in multiple angles. We're watching and we can actually talk to each other about this is what I'm seeing, this is what you're seeing, this is how I'm playing it, this is what you're playing it. Go! Yeah! Well, it gives us a shot of what we just watched. Um, it's very tough in the speed of the game to see how 22 people are moving at once. Go. Players and coaches are on the sideline, and when you're looking out directly on the field, you can't see formations, you can't see matchups on the other side of the field. When you're on the sideline, you don't have the greatest angle. You, you, you know what's happening, you know the plays are running, but you might not see the specific blocking scheme that the, that the offense has given you. I think that's why we've had coaches in the press box all along, because they have that perspective and they can see more than somebody standing at field level. Over the years, a few different methods have been used to get overhead images down to the sidelines. They used to take just a um, photograph. They would take a photograph at the beginning and like two seconds into it. And then in order to get it, there'd be a wire that was from the boxes that went all the way to our bench. And they'd put it on a little magnet and they'd slide it down. And you would take it to the head coach first who would hold on to it while he's yelling at the refs and get to it eventually when all the other coaches and the quarterbacks are like, can we see that? Um, but he ends up giving it to him when it's too late. Um, so it's kind of just a mess. You see, they came right back with the same thing here, trying to run that lead up in there to you, to that open side right there, right? It eventually became thermal prints, which are very similar to what you'd see at an ultrasound back in the 90s. Those created all sorts of issues. It's a thermal printer, so it needs to use you know heat to, to create an image. And when it was hot out, it would become all black. When it was uh, really cold out, the image would come out all white. And you know, think about a rainy day, um, and we're printing paper and we try to stuff into a binder with plastic sleeves and handing these things out. There are always issues. About eight years ago, we entered into this unique technology partnership with the NFL. And quite frankly, this was really an opportunity that we saw for making a really positive change. When we partnered with Microsoft, we wanted to find a process that we currently had that really needed to be modernized. So we worked very closely with the Microsoft engineers. So they looked at the whole sideline process to see how we could modernize it and uh, replace a manual process with, a, with an electronic automated process. We had a new product coming out in Microsoft Surface, a device that we knew could withstand the rigors of the NFL. Now, we didn't say, oh, we're Microsoft, we know better and run off and then come back and try and cram something down somebody's throat. So we had coaches involved, we had video directors involved, we had the NFL, and that made a big difference. And you end up with the Microsoft Surface Sideline Viewing System. So the first thing you're gonna do is they're gonna roll the carts out and inside you've got all the devices that are set up. In the meantime, the teams are also setting up their cameras. They're gonna shoot from two different locations. Each team will have 
uh, a camera set up in the end zone and on the sideline, or the all 22. Sideline cam sees literally all 22 players at any time. And then they'll also have a different view from the end zone. Those video images follow fiber all the way down to the coach's booth, where it then goes into what we call our still shot server, which has metadata down distance yard line of the current play, what the situation is. And it shows it right before the ball snap, and it also shows up right after the ball snap. So not only does it show who was assigned to which player, but it also shows right after the ball snap if there was any kind of trickery there. Windows servers that are running up in the coach's booth are really the brain. So all of the information is coming into those servers, and those servers are then disseminating that information out to the rest of the Surface devices. In the past, the process of sending pictures down on a wire or printing out thermal images was time consuming. From the time the play ended, it could take a minute or more before players and coaches could view them. With this new technology, after a play ends, they see them within two to three seconds. It's there way before someone could take a photograph and send it down, obviously, but also everyone on who has a tablet gets it right away. Um, so it's not just the guys in the boxes, it's not just me, it's every one of our coaches. Different profile views on the Microsoft Surface also streamline content. A running back only needs the offensive profile, a linebacker only the defensive one. Head coaches, of course, get everything, but in a highly organized way. So now even like outcome-based, you're able to go find that information very, very quickly. So in a head coach view, for example, we can see the fly out. You've got offense, defense, special teams, favorites, and a whiteboard. So I can go zoom out and look at things as they've happened. Here are all the different series. If there's an outcome base that happened, interception, 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 and you wanna just go find that very quickly, boom, you're in interception. Boom, you're now here in series seven. Now all of a sudden, you can grab this image and you wanna say, oh wow, okay, I've got this pre-snap, I've got a post, I can actually tap into it, I can zoom into it, I can really see what's going on in this play. Yeah, you can zoom in, uh, you can see exactly everything in it, and it's really high definition. If you print a piece of paper, you can't zoom in or zoom out. Now what you can do is you just pinch your finger and zoom in to see the footwork, to see which way someone was looking. It's a lot more higher quality. You can zoom in, you can do different things if you want, especially when you're de dealing with players. You can write stuff on it, because when you just word stuff, you might be saying something, but players might not be seeing it exactly based off the words you're articulating. Sometimes it's nice to draw a picture with this. The Microsoft Surface also allows you to mark up a play in multiple colors, which lays the basis for another feature, in-game collaboration. So if I'm on the field and I've got a coach in the coach's booth and I'm trying to get their attention, we can go to the same profile, pick the play, and we can start marking it up together. They can start writing what they're seeing, I can write what I'm seeing, and we can actually go ahead and have a game plan right here and save it so we can show to the players and to other coaches. I can make it a favorite if I see something that I know, this is gonna be a game changer, I'm using this later. Now you've got speed of information, you can go find that very, very quickly. You're not flipping through a binder. We constantly use the Surface to make adjustments and, and that has a major impact on the game. Uh, some plays that get drawn up on the sidelines are, are because you see something on the surface. It literally happens multiple times throughout every game. One specific example of that is when we were playing the Chicago Bears at home. We were running a, a keeper, as we call it, and we could tell that the backside corner wasn't backing up when the safety was cutting our crosser. And we ta actually tagged what we call a keeper corner. We, we tagged a post to it to try to take advantage of the situation. And we were able to hit Robert Tunyon for a touchdown on that play. Rogers flips his hips, flips it downfield, wide open, Tunyon, touchdown, Packers. Just out of college, the Microsoft Surface was a new tool this year for Chargers first-year quarterback, Justin Herbert. Herbert hauls off and uncorks one. Oh, there's another record. 
for Justin <laughs> Herbert. It helped him rewrite the record book in nearly every rookie passing category. Back in college, I wish we would have had the Microsoft Surface sideline viewing system because college, is, it's just a telephone. We had to answer a phone and we'd have to talk about it with our offensive coordinator. And I just remember being on the phone and, and he's telling me this is how they're going to do it. And so coming into the NFL and having that as soon as you come off the sideline, it just gives you a, an advantage that uh, you really have to take care of. Okay, when we ran freaking uh, 999, they're all over the end. Okay, so if I pull 10, 10, 10, right, it's outside tailback. I think it's helped the game. I think it, it's helped me personally. You're getting a trustworthy device that you can rely on. And when it's raining or when, or when there's snow, it, it doesn't matter. It's going to show up and you can trust it. It's so cold. You don't want to keep taking your gloves off. So when you're on the sideline, you got the tablet. How do you kind of advance the screen? You do it with your nose. <laughs> I remember a video that Microsoft sent to me uh, way back when where the, the tablet was above a sink of water and they played a video and placed the tablet underwater for about a minute. When that device continued to operate, I said, we've got the right thing. Not half bad, not half bad at all. The surface itself is actually waterproofed. A lot of people think it's the case. It's actually the surface. So we do manufacture a special surface pro for the sideline. We allow it to run in higher temperatures and lower temperatures than standard devices. So regardless of what Mother Nature is going to throw at us, we're ready for it. The coolest thing about the technology and everything compared to what we used to have is when I mean, it makes it as good as it can be. They, they've, they've taken everything that we've done and just made it extremely more efficient, uh, which allows us to do our job better, which allows us to get information to the players better, which ultimately helps the product on the field. All right, let's look at the pictures, first play. And you, you can see it, how it's evolved over the years. And it's just gotten better and better and better every year. And, and to now, it, it's flawless. And it's such an important tool in allowing us to do our jobs the best that we can. We're always looking for new ways of innovating on our sidelines. And we're engaging with Microsoft every day, thinking about all the different ways we can innovate with a great technology partner such as Microsoft. We've got some expert technology, and we have authentic ways to deploy that, and we're really just getting started.